friends, hello! In this video I want to talk about selling covered call options. With this you will be able to sell at the exchange more expensive. Today, for the example, we will work with Bitcoin. Let's imagine that I have one Bitcoin. It is 1000 futures at the AE exchange. And now we want to sell that Bitcoin. Close our position but at a higher price. Right now Bitcoin is trading at $27,187, but I want to sell more expensive. How do we do that and how can selling call options help us? Let's say we sell call options at strike 28. Naturally, the further away the expiration, the higher their time premium. The same rule works when volatility is higher. I am interested in options with expiry dates of less than a month. They are not expensive and at current volatility levels, which are low, there is little premium in the options. I am selling the same amount, 1000 call options. The theoretical price is 784, 782. This means that if in one month the Bitcoin futures price rises above the strike price, 28, I would have to sell 1000 Bitcoin futures at 28. At the same time I get a time premium of $782. My Bitcoins that I could have sold at 27200 I can sell a month later at 28000 3% more expensive and more. I get a time premium. In less than a month I can sell my Bitcoin for 6% more than the current price while volatility is at low level. If volatility were higher, the option could be worth way more. I could with monthly series option sales get an additional 10% of the Bitcoin price each month. But I am now returning the current volatility. And there's a covered option sale for you. You've probably noticed that the P&L of this strategy is very similar to selling a simple put option. But you and I know that this is a synthetic put option that we got by selling call options and buying futures. We don't necessarily have to sell it at the strike 28. We choose the strike based on the price at which we are willing to part with our asset. So if we are ready to sell the asset for 28, okay. If that's a low price for us and we're only willing to go with 30, here you go. Now I drag a thousand futures, here's my PL chart and I'm willing to sell it for 30,000 at the current price of 27,200. I choose the same amount, the same number, 1000 options and I get this. Look, if the Bitcoin price doesn't rise, I only get the premium for the sold call options. I'm still in the money. The further out the strike, the lower the premium, the cheaper the option. In this case the premium is 228, about 1%. This way I can hold my Bitcoin and sell its call options, making a constant profit. If price rises significantly above 30k, I will make a profit out of my option and the premium. This way I can safely sell call options against my Bitcoin every month and earn additional income. As a reminder, this strategy can work not only with Bitcoin, but with any trading instrument that has its options. For example Ether. Let's imagine we have one Ethereum. Wait, I choose Dodge instead of Ethereum. Dodge we will look at another time. 100 Ethereum futures is one Ether on the AE exchange. Now I'm going to open the calculator, there I'll select the monthly series, then I'll select call options. Right now Ether is trading at $1703, but suppose I want to sell it for $1900 a month from now. Minus 100, sell 100, and now our strategy is ready. So how much is the premium of the 1900 strike option? $15. The premium is a little over 1%. But if there's a rise above 1900, more than 10%. I'll make 12 to 13% of profit. You can also sell options at the money. Call options of strike 1700. The expiration date is the same. We see a price of $74. By selling a call option in the money at strike 1700 
and if the price is above 170, we will part with one Ethereum for 4% more, because we will get the premium of the salt call options. Even more interesting to apply, let's pick Matic. One unit, one Futures is 100 Polygon Project Matic coins. Accordingly, one Futures is worth $57. Now let's pretend we're ready to get rid of the one Matic coin for 65 cents. I sell and get this strategy. We sell at $2, so the total is 4%. So we hold the Matic and sell the call options for a profit of 3.5%, even though the volatility of the Matic is not high. As a result, you can use this strategy and get additional profit by holding the asset. If you liked this video, please leave a like. Ask questions in the comments, I'll be happy to answer them all. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I wish you all the best and successful options trading.